In this video, we will talk about cognitive distortion or thinking errors. The way we think affect our mood and the way our mood is affect how we behave in our social life, work life, family life. A lot of time we have these faulty thinking patterns and we don't have any proof of these things happening in our life. But our mind twists things in our mind and we start having these negative cognitive thinking. There are at least 10 cognitive distortions or thinking errors. And today we will talk about mind reading. Mind reading is part of a big cognitive error or cognitive distortion. It's called jumping to conclusion. There are two types of jumping to conclusion errors. One is mind reading and the second is fortune telling. In mind reading distortion or mind reading error, we assume that we can tell how the other person is thinking. And then we try to read their mind without having any valid information or data to support our thinking. You think that the way other person look at you, the way the other person smiled at you, the way the other person talked, moved their eyes, smirk, can tell you how they feel about you because you have that gut feeling. Sometimes if a person does not return your call on time, you should start thinking that the other person does not like you or is ignoring you. Let's say you are in a mall and you see a couple of people talking and laughing when they look at you. And then you start thinking they are laughing at you or making fun of you. Or you are at a grocery store and the person in the aisle is standing and staring at you and you start thinking, quote, is he or she upset at me? Did I do anything wrong? Or your kids are crying in the aircraft and you tried your best to calm them but they're still crying and you look at someone who is staring at you and you start thinking maybe the person think that I am a bad parent. Sometimes mind reading can also cause us to assume in a too much of a positive fashion. A person have a crush on someone and that person felt that the other person liked him because the other person said oh you look nice today and then uh, that person start thinking maybe the other person is interested in me and would like me to ask that person on a date and that person asked the other person but he or she said no does that mean you should not ask them out it's okay to ask the person out but not to do too much mind reading as it can affect you if the result does not go the way you thought it will go. So in short, mind reading is we start to perceive things differently. We start thinking that we can read people's mind, the way they said something, the way they look at you, um, and the way they smile at you. So our brain start thinking too much and start believing uh, that you can read other people's mind. So how can we fix these things? First, we have to learn what mind reading is. And we have to figure out, we have to learn, okay, this is mind reading. What I'm doing is mind reading. So first, we need to catch that. Hey, this is mind reading. And now I need to stop. Then what we will do is we will try to be in the moment. We will try not to get upset. So why am I having this, these thoughts? But remember, we don't have control on our thoughts. Just try to do the deep breathing, just be in the moment and observe if the thoughts goes away on its own. Sometimes the thoughts goes away on its own once we start um, breathing, once we just observe the moment without uh, having any judgment. We can also think, are there any advantages of these thoughts? Because a lot of time when we have thoughts, sometimes there are unconscious advantages of these thoughts like Am I trying to avoid the situation like talking to a specific person or talking to my boss uh, because my boss looked at me and I start thinking my boss doesn't is upset at me. So that's why I'm trying not to talk to my boss or you are trying to uh, ask for a date. But the other person looked upset and you think maybe the other person 
is upset at you they don't like you so you are avoiding that thing or maybe you are trying to ask for a promotion but you are doing too much of a uh, too much of mind reading are there any disadvantages of these thoughts like if i'll get upset then i'll get more depressed um i will keep thinking about this event i will get upset on other things like my partners and kids or i will not be able to sleep better as i will keep thinking about this event if you are able to control uh, your emotions if this thinking uh, process pass that's good you don't have to do anything but you are still thinking about it then you can try a few cognitive behavioral therapy techniques like you can gently ask the person um if they are upset at you or what they are thinking or if they have any questions for you because you thought that the way they are looking at you maybe they have some questions for you or you can say i feel that you are quiet today is everything okay or you can say i just want to make sure that i did not offend you during our conversation you can also look at the evidence of your thoughts like are there any other things going on like a person might have a busy day that's why she looked upset when you said hi or the person looked angry in the aisle might be angry as he or she cannot find the things he or she was looking to buy but let's assume that the person who is staring at you is actually upset at you and you don't want to ask him or talk to him then you can accept how things are as you don't have control on everyone emotions but you have control on how you act you can also assume that the other person might have wrong assumption about you and that's why he or she is upset and you know that you did not do anything wrong to upset that person so try these techniques first is be mindful don't get upset do your breathing and let the thought pass by most of the time you don't have to do anything just be in the moment don't get upset and don't judge your thoughts it will pass by if not then you can think about the positive and negative aspect of these thoughts if it still does not pass by then you can think about other things uh, from cognitive behavioral therapy that like you can ask the person if the person is upset at you or you can um, think if do you have any Uh, other uh, if, if the person can have any other reason to get upset uh, or if you can just accept how things are because we don't have controls on people thinking or emotions the only thing sometimes we have control is how we act when someone is doing something and sometimes radically accept how things are can be very helpful thanks for watching